Let's go ahead and look at this from a collaborator's perspective first. As a collaborator, you go to the model page. I have this open right here, and I can do two things. One, I can go up here to export as, click that drop down, and come down here to schematic floor plans. The other option is to come over here to add ons and choose schematic floor plan right over here. Both will get you to this page, so it really doesn't matter which way you take. Hit the get button, and now we can go ahead and place our order. At the very top, you can see that my estimated square footage is 8,267, which is below the 10,000 square foot limit for some of the features. So for example, if I wanted to expedite this order, I can do that right here at the top. But if my digital twin was larger than 10,000 square feet, then I wouldn't have this available. I also wouldn't be able to select the language option right here, choose the color option over here, or include furniture right here. Next one down is the unit of measurements. I can choose US Imperial, metric, or both. Right here, I can choose the language used in the schematic floor plan. Below that, I can choose whether I want a simple black and white or color option. The next feature is to have furniture included or not. By default, furniture is not included. If you do want furniture included, you can just go ahead and tap this. But keep in mind that not everything will always be included. The common things like couches, chairs, tables, beds, dressers, and so on will definitely be included. But like I said, some unique shapes that are more complicated may not be included in the final plan. Here you can upload your logo. So this allows you to co-brand the schematic floor plan. And below that you have the advanced options. You can see that I have five options. In your case, you may actually just have four options, but I'll get to that in a second. Let's look at the top two options, dimensions and gross internal area. You can see right over here in the floor plan where both the dimensions and the gross internal area or GIA are located in case you do want to hide those. The next option down is showcase orientation and you can choose to use or not use this. By default, it is not being used, which means that the entrance to the property will be from the bottom. However, if you purposely scanned or had somebody purposely scan the property for you in such a way that the floor plan view would come up so that the entrance would be anything other than from the bottom, you can use this option to have that reflected in the schematic floor plan. You can also check the use custom showcase labels option. If you went ahead and use labels to customize your digital twin and identify rooms in a certain way, you can use those same labels to customize your schematic floor plan. And finally, the last advanced option in my list, you may not even have in your option depending on where you're located around the world. Certain areas around the world do require you to include the thickness of the exterior walls in the GIA estimates. And this option allows you to do just that. And that's it, those are all the options. So the only thing left to do is go ahead and place the purchase. In my case, you can see that the purchase button is grayed out, so I can't use it just yet. The reason for this being grayed out is displayed just below. You can see here, it says enable ordering for your account and share your space. Sharing the space is quite simple. I just scroll up to the top, tap the share button and choose either unlisted or public. If your use case is to promote this property, you may as well go with the public option because this allows search engines to find it and it'll get displayed in the discover site. If however, you don't want search engines to be able to discover your digital twin, just go ahead and use the unlisted option instead. And now the only thing left to do is to reach out to my admin and have them enable schematic floor plan ordering for this account. So now let's look at this from an admin's perspective. As an admin, the first thing you need to do is of course, enable schematic floor plan ordering. So we'll go over here to settings and add-ons and then come down here to schematic floor plans and activate that. So that's really all there is to it as far as enabling schematic floor plan ordering for your team. But there is one more thing you can do to make it even simpler. As an admin near the bottom, I have this save changes as a new configuration. You might want to go through this form first yourself and save these presets to make it a lot easier for your team to order floor plans in the future. Now to order a floor plan, I just come up here I choose the preset that I wanna go with. Let's say I want color with logo. Now with my preset selected, I can see that the logo has appeared, color is selected, any advanced options that I've selected to have associated with this preset are set. And I don't have to think about whether I remembered to check all the boxes or not. I just come down to the bottom and tap purchase, which you can see is no longer grayed out because my admin has enabled schematic floor plan purchasing and the privacy settings for my digital twin are set to unlisted. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you next time.